Hello, anyone and everyone, I'm Echo, and today we're exploring Fallout 3. We're back here in the morgue under the Turtle Dove Detention Camp, where there is a uh, manhole access to the septic tunnel. Uh, don't know why there would be a manhole access to the septic tunnel in the morgue. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm not a uh, building engineer, but I've certainly never heard of somebody putting a manhole in the basement of a of a building of any kind. So, you know, whatever. But maybe that's just me complaining. I don't know. But this is going to take us out somewhere. Apparently, at one point, a bunch of the prisoners tried to use this to escape from the Turtle Dove detention camp, and I don't blame them. It's actually not even that bad for a, for a septic place. The water is surprisingly clean. And, uh, great point lookout. Are we just at the trash heap now? I bet we are. Oh, we're a little, a little bit northeast of the trash heap. So yeah, not too bad. Anything good in here? Nope, there is nothing. Okay. But yeah, um, it's actually very spacious in there, and it looked very clean. That's kind of odd for a septic tank, or septic access, I guess, whatever the hell you want to call it. But I guessed correctly, it did take us out to the uh, trash heap, though not immediately in the middle of the trash heap, just sort of over near it. But oh well, it's hardly a big detail. Now let's go over to Marguerite's shack, because we've collected the last of the ingredients, which is six fission batteries. Hey, Marguerite. Well, if it ain't my favorite out-of-towner. Let's talk about the tonic. We need to... Mm-hmm, I've got batteries. I thought so. Those things do carry a smell, don't they? Let me take them off your hands, then. All right. What's the status on the tonic? Booing low and slow, sweetie. Process takes about a day. Why don't you come back in a piece? Okay, yep. You could pay me now, though. Maybe you could pay me now. My, my, look at you. And why do you have to stand up to talk? Well, if it ain't my... F yeah, yeah, yeah. Stas on the talk. Low. Brewing low and slow. Yeah, okay, great. God damn it, woman. I just want to complete the quest and get my money from you. I don't want the moonshine. But hey, there's the sub-recovery site. Oh, God, we're going to have to, like, swim out there, aren't we? All right. Let's go to the Beachview campsite first. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. That scared me. <laughs> the, uh... Yeah, the noise of the bubble. I thought it was like a ghoul or something coming up to try to eat my butt. But alright, I'm gonna take a look at the map real quick, because, uh... Point Lookout Lighthouse, and, uh... Right. Okay, I'm just having to remember. Because I hope going out here to the thing doesn't activate something else that I'm, uh, that is actually a very cool moment of the game. Oh, look. There's a person out there. A person that needs shooting. Oh. Buff out. No. Please, stop. Alright. There you go. Good enough. Good enough. Alright. Wait for him to get close and we'll just use this. Wait, do we have any mines? Let me check. Any mines at all? Got plasma grenades and pulse mines. And pulse grenades. Okay. Let's use a plasma grenade on him. There you go. Use up the weight from my inventory. And he's a relatively strong enemy, so it's not like that was entirely a waste or anything. Alright, why are we in caution? Who else heard that? I don't know. Okay, good. Hidden again. Alright. Alright, now I think if we come out to this little peninsula 
type uh, outstretch the land a bit here, we might be able to use those Chinese code thingies to blow the stuff up. That's a boat. That's not a submarine. That's a boat. Hmm. Let me read the quest real quick. Activate the Chinese submarine self-destruct protocol. Yeah. Do we actually need to... Do we actually need to swim all the way out there just to blow it up? Alright. Alright, fine. We'll do it. Can I get up here to do it? Don't suppose I can. I don't even see the submarine. Oh, we actually passed it a little bit. Should be right about here. There you go. Discovered the sub recovery site. Alright. Where's, uh. There you go. You have to go inside to do it. And, uh, Chinese pistol, self boy. Submarine operations manual. Or operations terminal, I mean. Anything over on this end? Of interest? Nope. Just. Oh, self destruct switch? We didn't even need the codes? We can just pull the switch, or do you have to put the code in first or the switch won't work, maybe? Whatever, let's look at the operations terminal. Mission parameters. Classified directives, Chinese Naval Command, mission parameters, routine patrol, slash observation, vessel, blah, 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 has been ordered to patrol hostile waters. Variations from patrol are tolerated as required by evasive circumstances. Crew is under strict instruction not to engage enemy if detected. Self-destruct protocol must be initiated in event of imminent capture. Status updates are required at six hour intervals by one way burst com on orbital frequency, blah blah blah. Initiate self destruct. Self destruct protocol initiated. Engineer must activate fail safe switch in aft engine to confirm sequence. Personnel will have less than one minute to evacuate. Okay. So we need to use the codes, initiate the initial part of it. It appears to be a functioning self-destruct switch, but the mechanism does nothing without proper authorization. Confirm self-destruct protocol. Okay. Get clear of the submarine before it explodes. Alright, where's the hatch? Where's the damn hatch? Oh, this is ridiculous. We came down from a hatch. The fuck's the? Oh, it's a, it's a ladder that's just sticking out in the middle of nowhere. Not even connected to a hatch that we clearly must have come through. There you go. Turn to motel, safe house terminal. Blah blah blah. Okay. All right, we can do that. Not too hard. I'm said motel. <sighs> so I guess we... I guess the goal was to kind of complete the Chinese operative's mission? I suppose. Alright, safe house terminal. Welcome to USA. Photo file extraction details. Agent Zhang received automated correspondence of Chinese intelligence ministry. Recover the cryptomatic spectacles from the toilet tank in motel room 1D. Remote positive of mission parameters satisfactory. Orbital intelligence verifies, blah, 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 termination. Please note following from intelligence officers, blah, blah, blah. Agent, if you're receiving this message, then our satellites have registered the, destru de the destruction of your objective. Well done. Please report to my personal bunker, hidden among the grounds of Calvair Mansion. Coordinates have been provided with this transmission. The bunker entrance is hidden, of course. Your pair of crypto... Cryptochromatic spectacles have been hidden in the water tank of the toilet in your safe house. Retrieve them if you haven't already. Here's the sequence code to unlock the bunker. 1323442. Once inside, the passphrase is Seraphim Descending. I look forward to congratulating you personally, Agent. Transmit end. Transmit end. No added sequence note. A very blah blah blah. Okay. So, we actually could have just, like, grabbed these from the beginning. That's cool. Use the crypto 
cryptochromatic spectacles on the Calvair Mansion place. Okay. Sure. I figure we might as well finish up this quest before going on with the main quest thing. Wait a minute, where is it? Say to freaking go. Spectacles and sequence note to access the spy bunker. I think it's over here. Looking at the map. Again, the, the quest description doesn't give accurate details of where to go. It's just like, use the thing on the thing, and then you'll do... Wow. And we're supposed to just know. Except not really. We're supposed to... Activate pedestal. Oh, do we actually have to wear the uh, things to somehow show us which one to press? Oh. Oh, hold up. That's neat. Remove those for a second. They don't have any paint on them until you put on the cryptographic spectacles. Then they've got numbers on them showing the order to press them in. That is neato. I think. Oh, wait, no. Duh. Screw me. I forgot already. The uh, notes. It's 132342. 132442. 132342. 132442. Okay. Hatched a Chinese intelligence bunker. Alright. Probably gonna be more ghouls down here because I can't imagine the Chinese operatives are still alive. Oh, no, just a robot. Protectron. This is a hazardous area. For your own safety, please vacate the premises. The passphrase is Seraphim Descending. Clearance acknowledged. Follow me for your extraction debriefing, comrade. Okay. Take a look around first, see if there's anything in here we want. Actually, we want all of these Chinese assault rifles so that we can repair our. Uh, oh, and we want all this ammunition. Oh, dang, that's a lot of ammunition. Let's uh, crouch down so we can get to all of it. Damn. Yeah, so we can repair that perforator. We need all those Chinese assault rifles we, that we can get. So, I'm just gonna hold on to them. And we'll take the bottle cap mine. And we'll activate the workbench so that I can repair. Um, let's see. Repair old painless, might as well, since we got rid of the hunting rifles. Um, repair Maple's garb. Paulson's hat. Oasis Druid Hood. Anything else? Reservist's rifle. Sure. Just because the uh, things are so rare for it. Lever action rifle. We only have... Do we really only have the one? Huh. Alright, well, we'll repair it anyway. Doesn't matter. It only uses bottle caps. And we've got, like, practically infinite bottle caps. So, whatever. Alright, cool. More ammo. More lever action rifles for repairing. Shotgun shells, more double barrel shotguns for repairing. Amazing. This is the best room in the whole game. Well, not really, but whatever. Might as well take another one of that. More ammo. More ammo. More buff out. Stealth boy. A sword. We don't need the sword. Why do we ever need the sword? Alright. And uh, I think we can get rid of the crypto cryptochromatic spectacles. Over encumbered, I know. Shut up. And, uh... Yeah, how many liver... We did have four. Okay, so one of them was already fully repaired. Alright. Might as well use this to repair one of those. Just to get under the weight limit. 
And now we'll follow the robot. You got any, nothing to say there, buddy? Nothing to say at all? Okay. Backwater rifle? Oh, hell yeah! If, I, if that is what I think it is, that should be a unique version of the uh, lever action rifle. Yes, it is. Hell yeah. Does 50 damage. So yeah, sorry, old painless. You've uh, you've been done in. Wait a minute, what's six? Paulson's roll. Right. Okay. Right. So yeah, just more damage, basically. Probably uh, more durability as well. Unique named variants usually have more durability. All right. And, uh, what's the extraction terminal say? Extraction debriefing. You have done well to get this far, Agent Zhang. Your payment has been transacted to your next of kin under the pretext of a rotation of a ration lottery. With deepest regret, however, your life must now be terminated for the good of the People's Republic. Go with dignity, honorable soldier. Oh no, the heel turn! Okay, well first... Let's put on... Radiation suit. And now we have to get out of here. Damn it. Jump! What the hell? I know I'm playing as a white guy, but seriously, jump. I know my... Radiation level is decreasing. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Who, des who designed the jumping in this game, and who decided to make it a necessary part of completing this quest? Holy crap. There. Had to crouch to do it. Alright, right out here, right? Hatch to runoff pipe. There you go. Stim pack. Right away. Com quest completed. The Velvet Curtain. Right away and 10 million rounds. I wonder, is this, uh... Was this Dr. Zhang? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know if we actually found Dr. Zhang's body in the, uh... The whatchamacallit? Uh, the hotel room. He might have been in there. I'm not sure. Oh, more radiated water. That's great. Okay. So, that was the Velvet Curtain. That was actually a really cool quest. I liked it. Um, certainly like it more than the stupid one we did for Marguerite with, uh... What's her name? Collecting, uh, collecting all the stupid things. But, oh well. And, uh, the Backwater Rifle. It's kind of funny that they put a unique weapon in the room where they're planning on killing the guy. Like... Actually, thinking about it, it does make some sense that maybe they would want to give him the weapon because if he could tell that they were going to kill him with radiation, then they might, you know, give him an option to kill himself more quicker and uh, less painfully. Uh, because if they just had, like, if they had guards in there or if they had the robot try to kill him, there's always the possibility he could, like, push the robot over and run away or something, or the guards could miss or something, or maybe he brought a weapon with him and he could kill the guards before they kill him or something. So the most efficient way to guarantee he would die would be to trap him in a room and fill it with radiation and lock him in there. Um, but once he realizes that's what's happening, they maybe give him the gun so he could have the option of killing himself uh, to make it quicker. Um, and... You know, with the way they built up the uh, the loyalty of the Chinese soldiers throughout this quest, it seems like he'd probably sort of be like, yeah, I, I kind of saw that coming, and he'd probably just take the gun and, and shoot himself with it. But hey, there you go, we got the backwater rifle, so let's actually um, do something that is going to cause me some great pain. Let's go to the House of Wares with the Madam Psychic Lady. What's her freaking face? It is... Panada. Once again. Show me what we have for sale. And what is it you yeah. would like to purchase? Let's unfortunately 
sell old painless because it does 35 damage it's got the same accuracy basically and everything else and it's just all around i don't think it's as good as the backwater rifle um in fact actually i can actually before before we do this i can take the backwater rifle out oh, equip it let's go over here um actually no not over here let's go here Damn it. <laughs> as far away as we can. Let's just test the accuracy. Alright. Now, did that hit the spot? Keeping the mouse perfectly still. As still as I possibly can. Alright, and the bullet hole did not show up. God dang it. Alright, let's try it a little bit closer. And let's let's aim over here. There's more white in this spot. Okay, blow, bullet holes are not showing up on that wall. But they are on that. Of course, that's close enough that, of course, it would be accurate. A little bit farther away. Yeah. Seems to be accurate. Um, at least accurate enough for what we need it for. We don't actually like the the perfect accuracy of the uh, of the old painless isn't actually like all that required. It's just kind of oh, nice. It is... But I think this will do. And It'll do fine. It like and we we could use the inventory space more. I think so. Yeah, we're gonna sell old painless. Unfortunately, anything else we want to sell? Um, not really. Maybe, maybe some of these. Uh, yeah, we can sell some of these pulse mines. Let's sell eleven of them. And uh, number two, miscellaneous. Anything here we don't want? Pretty more money. Aid. I guess we'll have to hold on to the buff out just because we keep apparently needing to use it, even though I don't like to. Mentats, though, we can get rid of that. Um, nothing else really. Peril, ghoul mask, we forget to use all the time, but it's still useful. Okay, let's go back to ammo. Now, what does Madame Panada have for us? Any weapons that we actually want? No. Maybe a lever action rifle for repairing? Maybe. We'll see in a second. Uh, none of those. Buff out jet medics to stim packs. We'll take all the stim packs. We'll take all the psycho. We'll take the medics. Leave it at that. And in here, any bobby pins? No. No. Okay. Ammo. All of that. All of that. Uh. Sure, all of those. Why not? Sure, all of those. Why not? Sure, all those, why not? <laughs> okay, and let's get rid of our own ammo that we don't want anymore, like the 5mm rounds, and the alien, B the BB guns, and just energy cells, I guess. Okay, and how many more? Okay. The energy cells go 267. One more. There you go. Excellent. Yes. Goodbye, young traveler, blah, 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 all that. Let's, uh, real quick, check out Marguerite. We fast-traveled around a lot, so some time has passed. Probably not a full 24 hours, but maybe enough. We'll see what she has to say. Well, if it ain't my... What's the status on Tonic? Brewing. Still brewing. Okay. All right, in that case, let's go tell Desmond what's up with the stuff. Calvary Mansion. Alright. And uh, let's just mark it as the request. Hearing voices. Turn to Desmond with the information. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. He better be just like waiting in the main room. If I have to go walking through this big mansion to look for him, that's going to be annoying. Nope, he's right here. Okay, good. Desmond! 
buddy. What's up? You infiltrated those tribals yet? I'm in. I found out where their tribal, what their leader is hiding. Those idiots let me in with open arms. I have the location of their leader. Nice work. As if sneaking into a compound of morons is any kind of work. So, why haven't you tracked down their leader and grilled him for info? Don't waste your time reporting back. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. Oh, bye. Find more information from the tribe's leader. Not a freaking tribe, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't like Desmond. He's an asshole for, like, no reason. No good reason at all. But okay, so where's their leader hiding, huh? Up there? Oh, okay. USS Ozymandias and Herzog Mine. It's over here. More places over here. Offy Clan Pot, Disaster Relief Outpost, Black Hill Manor, Dove Delta. Okay. Not actually as many areas as I remember there being. Huh. Interesting. Oh, well. Ark and Dove Resting Grounds and Coastal Grotto. Okay, let's go to the Ark and Dove Cathedral. And before we go to the wrecked sea tub and find out what's going on with the leader, let's start stop off at the uh, Ark and Dove Resting Grounds, which is to the west, slightly northwest of here, right? No, east. Whoops. I'm sorry. Got my east and west mixed up. It happens to the best of us. I'm sure. I'll just keep telling myself it happens to the best of us, and th that'll make it true. Pretty much. But hey, it looks like there's gonna be ghouls out here. Why are there ghouls in the cemetery? <sighs> oh, well, this is the resting grounds, apparently. The resting grounds are just the name for the cemetery. But seriously, why are there ghouls here? Ghouls are not zombies. It's ridiculous. But all right, let's uh, let's go with the plasma grenades because those are pretty much the most powerful weapon we have. And uh, let's give him as many as we can, complete with the sneak crit and everything. It's gonna barely do anything at all. God damn! Oh my god! Please tell me it's hitting the other one a little bit. Oy vey. There you go, one more. Awesome! Wow, it actually... It actually killed him. Alright. And now let's take out the Swamp Ghoul. Should be easy enough. One shot, there you go. Good. Awesome, I can't... I'm actually kind of surprised how smoothly that went. Killing the, uh, the two Reavers with the, whatchamacallit, the plasma grenades. Oh, is that another Reaver? No, those are the dead bodies. So what's this other, okay, it's a Roamer all the way over there. Alright, let's pick it off then. From afar. Nice. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Let's uh, just loot the bodies real quick, I guess. No, oh, not you. You. There you go. Alright, anything around here besides uh, gravestones? Anything interesting on the ground that we can actually interact with or do something with? Is there story to be uncovered, dug up from the earth? Or no? Hmm. Looks like no. Some pungas, but that's nothing special. Huh. But yeah, it's always kind of, uh, kind of annoying that they do this sometimes in the Fallout games. Um, specifically, 3 and 4 seem to do it more than the others. Though I think Fallout 1 did it a little bit. And that's the fact that they sort of treat ghouls literally like zombies even though everything about the story of how ghouls are formed and what they're supposed to act like uh, makes a point of saying that they are not zombies. They're not people that died and were reanimated from radiation or anything like that. 
the ghouls are people who were just mutated. And, uh... Huh. And, yeah, every once in a while you come across stuff like this, where there's just a bunch of ghouls in a cemetery for no reason, because cemeteries are kind of creepy and ghouls vaguely look like zombies, and zombies are often found in cemeteries. So, hey, let's make a bunch of ghouls pop up in a cemetery, even though it makes no sense. Why would the ghouls have come to that spot? Uh -huh. Doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't it make sense to you? Uh -huh. But whatever. Let's just have a sit and relax for a bit, because I'm out of time for this episode. We'll contemplate the uh, absurdity of having ghouls pop up in a cemetery some other time. Until then, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I hope you all continue to enjoy what I do here. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.